Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. It's so fun to knit socks with self-striping or self-patterning yarn because you can transform a basic knitting pattern into an eye-popping finished object with very little effort. Today, before I cast on another pair of these Sundog socks, I'd like to share four quick tips for knitting socks with self-striping yarn. Tip number one. If you're feeling a little whimsical and don't want to stress about getting the stripes to line up perfectly, knit your socks from opposite ends of the same skein. It reverses the color pattern and makes it look like you have intentionally mismatched socks. This may involve rewinding your yarn after the first sock is complete, but it's still my favorite way to use self-striping sock yarn. Tip number two. If you prefer your socks to be identical, not fraternal twins, make sure each sock starts at the same place in your color pattern. Depending on how well defined the stripes or patterning is in the yarn, sometimes you can knit one sock and then find where the next repeat of the color pattern begins and then knit the second sock. Sometimes it may be easier to divide your yarn into two evenly sized cakes then match up the color patterns. Easier still, head to your local yarn shop and see if they carry any self-striping sock yarns that are pre-divided so your socks are perfectly matchy-matchy. Tip number three. If you don't want your striping pattern to be interrupted down the front of the leg and the top of the foot, try an afterthought heel. Afterthought heels can be used in either toe-up or top-down socks. They allow you to basically knit a long tube with one enclosed end for the toe. Once the tube is complete, you remove some yarn to open things up where you want to place your sock heel. Then you knit your afterthought heel. Tip number four. If you don't want the striping pattern to be interrupted down the front of the leg and the top of the foot, but in your mind an afterthought is an after knot, just work the heel in a contrasting color. Again, this works for either toe up or top down socks. You simply work in rounds until you get to the heel, then use a contrasting color to shape the heel using your favorite method. Finally, continue in rounds with your self-striping yarn until your sock is finished. I hope you enjoyed my four tips for knitting socks with self-striping yarn. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. If you have any other tips for working with self-striping yarns, please share them in the video comments. I love learning new things too. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!